Welcome to part two of Building Boulders Dome. Hopefully you watched part one. Here's part two, showing you how this thing got built. Yo, good morning. Day five. First thing we're doing today is trying to hook on to this big air unit. Good, you guys can come out. All right, we're getting all this bolted in place. On top of the air unit. So they're starting to lay that out flat for the banner. The banner's gonna be super cool. Oh, check this out. The banner is on site. Oh yeah, balls there. Look at the size of that banner. The banner is out. You'll see it once the dome goes up. That banner is going to be front and center, right on the side of the dome. Then the front, we've got a whole different sign. Oh, yeah, on top of the air handling unit. Unit number two. We got number one up. Jose, tell them about what we're about to do. Uh, we finna hook up this other side of this unit, lock it down before we get the air going in here, inflate it. You ready to blow this dome? Be ready for we start. Having some fun. That's right. It's a bit windy out today. How's everybody down there? Uh -huh. Looking good. Oh yeah. We're talking about fire ants in Texas. Okay. <laughs> Don't mess around with that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you yeah. So you say, hey, here's the Pac-Man right here, Timo. It's got to go that way. I got it. Don't move. I'll leave right there. there. Work. I'll leave right there. Nice. This is what it looks like. Anchoring this down. So the door is airtight. Fabric gets connected in there, bolted in place. Get the whole door in place. It looks in place. Locking it down. Oh man. You taught him everything he knows. Yes, sir. That's right, Julio. What do you think about that, Ricky? Um, I think it's fibbing a bit. <laughs> Day number six. What are y'all working on? Right now, we're getting the side panels in on the door. Yeah. We made the holes. We're going to put the bracket, the plate on there, and get it tightened up. Today is all about sealing and locking them in. All these little boards got to go in. All the sides got to go in, all the tops. Little detail work, right guys? Yes, sir. Y'all are doing awesome. Here's a look at the dome. Woo wee! Coming along. A lot of detail work, but got to make this thing airtight. That's the job today. Full day, but we'll uh, just keep sealing it all up. Now, remember these bolts. We got a little flap that's got to be welded on. It's called a heat weld. Yep. Heat weld, it'll be the rain flap is going overneath to keep the rain from coming in between these plates or anything here. So when the building inflates and gets to where it needs to be, there's no rain that seeps in. So you just want to keep this flap up here so you're not hitting the rope. Get underneath here, stick your gun in, lift it up on the way out, get in behind where you just went. Let it sit and cool because it'll be hot. And then you just give it a tug. Now coming up. You're good. Nice. Hey, you do that every 10 feet. Yes, sir. Day number seven. Alright, so now it is crazy windy today. Really see it, but you probably hear it. Crazy windy, 25 30 mile an hour gusts pretty constantly. So, we're gonna keep our feet on the ground, keep the dome on the ground, 
What we're working on today are cable organization, for lack of a better term. See these cables? These are what hold the dome in place. And there are two miles of cables. So first thing we gotta do is sort through them. It's kind of like a deck of cards. It's all just shuffled together at the moment. But we gotta go through them. They're all labeled. They all have certain labels on them. See these little dog tags. You got labels. That's letter T. So in the dome plans, they're all labeled, tells us where each cable goes. What we got to do is sort them out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way through quadruple E. There's like 86 different labels of cables and we got to sort through them all. So check out how thick these cables are. So those are the plates that cables connect to. Those things are huge. Ugh. But look at this cable. This is an A cable. That thing is an inch thick. All steel cable. Look at that. That is a beast of a cable. That thing is heavy. Just as foot or two I'm picking up weighs probably 20 pounds. Who knows how much that whole thing weighs. So that's what we're working on organizing cables. So what I've got here, huge part of the parking lot blocked off. And we're gonna just create grids with all the different labels. Right here that wind now. And we're just gonna be organizing cables probably quite a while, but uh, that's what we're getting after now. All right, Jose's got, what you got there? Triple D. You got the triple D? Yeah. All right, we're right to the spot. Z, showing what each one is. You can see all the position. Nice. And Chris, what you got there? Triple Q. Nice. Look at all these cables. Alright, let's see which one I can pick up. Find one. Grab this piece. I got a T. Grab the T. Boom. Take it to the spot. You see there's already three T's. That makes four. There should be six. Two more T's to go. Cables in order. Like 270 total cables. Day number eight. Weather, weather, weather. The last two days have been all crazy wind. Now we got rain. Rain, no bueno. So you can't really see it, but there are puddles of water all over the dome. Yeah, lots of it. Which now adds a whole bunch of weight and challenges to the dome. Pardon me, sir. What's that? Good. Let's see Mr. Chris walking there. How much water is all over the All we need is just a few days of good weather, and we're not getting it. Challenges after challenges, but I guess that's construction. So, as you can't tell, I'm a little down today. Just getting kicked in the mouth, it feels like, with the weather between wind, which is challenging for a dome, and the water. And there's a lot of water out there. But what we're trying to do is basically take those cables we organized yesterday and start to put them in position. So if you remember, the cables have letters. These clips are what the cables go into, also have letters. So we're pretty much trying to find the cables, put them by the letter, but we got a whole bunch of mud. A whole bunch of mud and schlup to go through. It's just a downer of a day, all because of weather. Weather, weather, weather. I don't know how much time this is gonna cost us. All we needed was a few good days of weather and we're not getting it. Oh, oh that weather. It's getting cold. It's still wet. See all the water on the dome. Which is no big deal, it'll clean off. You see pools of water. Pools of water everywhere. Come show you what else we got done. So even on a day like today, terrible weather. 
progress. Putting the vents in, as you can see. And uh, we've got all the cables, like I was showing you, lined up. Or uh, three quarters of them, one, one area we couldn't get to because of the mud. Look at this, this is kind of interesting. You see all the water. Yeah, see all those cables lined up. They're at their home, They're ready to be run. So we'll do that in the near future, I'm not sure which day, start running cables all across. But, cold, windy, rainy day. None of those three things are good. Cold makes the fabric lock up. Windy, you can't do any sort of air under the dome. Rain, it's just water on the dome. All three bad things, crappy day. Bad weather day, slowing us down, causing trouble. We need sunshine and heat.